Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll learn to create the Django project and we'll understand the project structure. So let's get started now. Now launch VS Code and open your folder, that is the project folder. After you have opened this folder, then you need to launch the new terminal. And inside the new terminal, you need to create your first project. Before this, you have to enter the virtual environment that you have created inside the project folder. So write my env, cd my env, and then you have to write the command Django hyphen admin, Django hyphen admin, and start project. And then the name of the project. We can consider any name for now. Let's say we are considering my project. Hit enter. And you can see that a folder my project has now been created that consists of your project and certain files have been created. Now let's discuss what is the importance of all these files. First of all, let's discuss what is Django admin. The Django admin command is a built-in command line utility that ships with Django. And it's used for various administrative tasks in a Django project such as creating new projects, creating apps within the project, managing migrations which is related to database, and running the development server and many more. So in order to create the project, we already have used this command that is Django admin start project and then the name of the project. Let's now have a look at the project structure. After installation of the project in Django, we observed that we have received a few files. Inside a Django project, the main files and folders include, the very first one is manage.py. This is a command line utility which helps to manage your project in certain ways like it can uh, help you in running the development server, in the creation of migrations and certain other aspects of your project. Then it also creates a folder. We already have one folder called as my project. Within that it will create another folder called as my project. So within that project you will have now these files. So first one is settings.py. The purpose of this file is to hold the configuration settings for your Django project that includes uh, database settings, installed apps, middlewares, static files, and other configurations. Further, we have urls.py. So this defines the URL routing for your entire project, which will help you to map the URLs to the views or other URL patterns. So we'll be discussing all these later in the upcoming lectures. Next one is WSGI. This, this stands for Web Server Gateway Interface. So this is used for running your Django application. It's very crucial for deploying your Django app on the production servers. Further, we have ASGI, which is quite similar to WSGI. But this file is used for asynchronous server gateway interface. So this is a spe specifically for handling asynchronous code in Django. Then the last one is init.py. So this file tells Python that the directory should be treated as a Python package. So hope the importance of all these files and folders is now understandable inside the my project. Now in order to run the development server, we need to first of all enter our project that is my project, cd my project and now you need to type the command python manage.py run server. So it is now going to start your development server. So it has now created the uh, development server. It's now running. Now we need to go to this specific port number. So let's check out what is in there. So come to your browser and you need to type localhost 8000. 
you will be able to get this page so if you are able to see this page it means that your django project is now working perfectly in the next lecture we'll learn how we can create an application inside the project